Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at how to get the boosted FPS mod pack for Minecraft Java edition. I am on the latest version of Minecraft, this is version 1.18.1. Some of you have been asking me how to download and how to install the boosted FPS mod pack for your Minecraft Java game. So it's really simple, I'll go through the steps that are involved in obtaining and getting the boosted FPS mod pack on your Minecraft Java game so you can enjoy Minecraft with more performance and less lag. So for those of you who are wondering what is Boosted FPS, basically Boosted FPS is a mod pack which I put together and it contains most of the performance related mods for Fabric on Minecraft 1.18.1 and as you guys can see I am in the mod menu section and I do have loads of different performance based mods. I have included a few of the quality of life mods as well for Minecraft Java version 1.18.1. I have also gone ahead and tweaked the video settings so you guys should get better performance right out of the box. So when you do install the boosted FPS mod pack, it should give you fairly good performance in your Minecraft Java game. It also has a cool loading screen, so let me just go ahead and show you guys. Let me just disable one of these resource packs. Take a look at this. This is really cool. I do like that loading screen. I did get this image from Pixabay and it does show us some additional information on there as well. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to download and how to install the boosted FPS mod pack for your Minecraft Java game and how to get more FPS in Minecraft on version 1.18.1. Alright, so the easiest way to get boosted FPS mod pack for your Minecraft Java game is to actually get the CurseForge client. Now, there is another method of where you can actually get mod packs for the default Minecraft launcher and I have done a video on that and I will leave a link in the description below on how you guys can do that but in my opinion this is the easiest and best way to do it and you will not have any problems in getting the mod pack so do make sure to head over to the CurseForge website click on the CurseForge app link and then go ahead and download the CurseForge client after you've installed it and after you've configured it then you should see this. I have also made a full guide on how to download and install the CurseForge client and how to get everything set up. So do make sure you guys watch that video. Again, link will be in the description. So once you guys have set up Minecraft, you should have a Minecraft logo over here. If you click into it, it should show you this section which says my mod packs and browse mod packs. In the search bar, all you need to do is just search for Gamer Potion. You can also search for, for Boosted FPS, but it's easier to search for Gamer Potion. And then in the search results, it should show you all of my mod packs which I have created. But do go ahead and check out some of the other mod packs which I have created from this section here. Do go ahead and click onto the Boosted FPS mod pack section. And as you guys can see, you can read up about this. And from this section, you should be able to click on Install, which will then basically install the mod pack quite easily for your Minecraft job. A game. So let's wait for that to finish and I'll be right back. Alright, so once the Curse Forge has finished installing the boosted FPS, you should see a play button here. You can actually go back and click into my mod packs and then it should show you all of the different mod packs that you do have available. You can then click into the play icon over here, which will then launch the Minecraft launcher and then you have to click on play again and that will finally load the game with the mod pack installed. So let's go ahead and load into the game now and let's see how it looks. Alright, so the game has loaded now. And as you guys can see, it does say mods and it says 41 loaded and you can click into that and you should be able to configure some of the mods from this section by clicking into it and then clicking on the configure button over here. If you go into the video settings and options you should be able to configure some of the settings for your video settings from this menu over here. You can also click on sodium video settings and you should be able to change some additional settings. This mod also does include the sodium extra mod and you can change stuff like the particles animations and also show FPS and other stuff in your Minecraft Java game. So do go ahead and check that out as well. We also do have the option to enable or disable shader packs if you guys want to do that. If you guys have medium to high PCs, you can go ahead and download the shader packs and enable them from this section. In terms of the actual mods, I have gone ahead and placed as many performance-based mods that I could have found on different websites, especially the CurseForge website. So you should have a good selection of performance-based mods in this list. So you can actually go through the whole list and have a look at what mods are included for your game. You will see two different maps included. One of them is the regular FPS test and the other one is the stress test. Again, I have done videos on both of these maps and I will leave a link in the description on how you guys can go ahead and test out your system and configure them to really see how your system is performing inside your Minecraft game. So you can actually click on new world and then you can go ahead and create a new world. One cool mod that is included with this is a mod that improves your loading time. So let's go ahead and create a new world and let's see how quickly it actually loads a world.
as you guys noticed, it did not wait for the 100% there because normally it would wait for 0 to 100%, but it just loaded it straight away. So that is a really cool mod if you guys don't like to wait for your worlds to load. Do make sure to check this out as well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. There are other methods to install the boosted FPS mod pack. So for example, if you guys are using other clients like MultiMC or GD Launcher, then you would have to go to the CurseForge website and search for the boosted FPS from there, download the zip file, and then import the zip file into those different clients. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a way to install boosted FPS for your default Minecraft launcher as well. I have done a video on that. So do make sure to check out the link in the description. That should help you out. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about using boosted FPS mod pack or if you have any problems, then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.